Huh. Half a billion dollars in gold at the heart of a legal battle between a U.S. salvage team out of Tampa, Florida, and the British government. Show you a cannon from the HMS Victory, an English warship that sank more than 260 years ago. Now four tons of gold at about 9.85 an ounce, I think, of the current Aww. market, something like that. Thought to be inside the wreckage. The folks who found the ship are negotiating with the British government, but the Brits say they own the ship and all, everything inside of it. So who's right? Salvage expert and author of Lost and Found. Tom Williams with me now out of Miami. How you doing, Tom? Good morning to you. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me this on. This is a morning. great story. I mean, this ship sank in 1744. Everybody wanted to know what, ha what happened to the HMS victory. A and now we know. Right, that's a very important find. It's uh, incredible that a thousand sailors lost their lives on this ship and all this gold has suddenly been found. And uh, that's what my book, uh, Lost and Found, is all about. Uh, I'm an author and I wrote this book, Lost and Found. Uh, it discusses uh, finding uh, all the treasure ships in the world with a satellite and it's just an incredible story. And imagine all the uh, treasure ships lost around the world with gone on gold on board, suddenly found by a satellite. And often people are wondering, how is, how is all this stuff suddenly being found? How can this suddenly be popping well, well, up Well, why do you think it's happening, Tom? I think because it could be a new technology. I think looking down from space from a satellite, you could actually start finding these things, uh, scanning the Earth with microwaves. So is the technology that leads people to find them a lot easier than they did in years past? Oh, yeah. In years past, you'd have to drag a uh, magnometer behind a boat and look for... Uh, Signatures like old cannons would uh, trigger a magnometer, and that's how folks would find things. Mel Fisher did that when he found the Atocha uh, off the Marquesas and the Keys. He, he was dragging a magnometer looking for cannons, and when the cannon spiked uh, a register on the ship, they would go down and look. Then they, uh, they dove down and looked for the old uh, uh, cannons for serial numbers, and they found the Atocha serial numbers. They knew, bingo, there we go, and they, uh, they found the right ship. And they, they did that to, to, uh, through technology then? Well, that was the technology, basically dragging a mine detector behind a boat and looking for uh, metal to pop, and they they looked, they found it. Well, that's and uh, my tech, my um, yeah, the uh, the premise for my book is this oil company in Texas has launched a satellite to look for oil fields, and after a year it's not working. So these guys reprogram it to look for gold mining sites, and by accident it finds all the old lost shipwrecks with treasure on board. And this is fiction, but uh, according to Ron Poley from uh, Extreme Boats Magazine, he said this is fiction, but someone at NASA could turn it into reality. So it's really exciting and makes you wonder if all this stuff popping up all over the world, what technology is really being well, used. Well, what else is popping up, Tom? Uh, we're talking about the victory today. Well, uh, in May 2006, there was a Spanish galleon, a uh, bunch of gold on board that. Um, Spain claimed uh, that for them. They said, oh, that belongs to us. Uh, of course, everybody that you'd find something... Uh, uh, whichever country it belongs to, they say, oh, yeah, that's ours, and there's a big battle over it. Uh, I, I go over that in my book, Lost and Found, uh, often. Uh, it's like legal battles. It's uh, corporate shenanigans, all kinds of stuff. When there's that much gold involved, it's You know amazing. what I thought, imagine. Tom? Yeah, I, there is a lot. You're right about it. I thought finders keepers. Whatever happened to that rule? Does that not apply here? Well, when Mel Fisher found the Atocha off the Marquesas uh, west of Key West, uh, he'd been searching for years, doing all of his homework, and suddenly he found it, and as soon as he reported the find, the state of Florida said, oh, that belongs to us. And then a couple of days later, the federal government said, no, that's ours. And so a big battle ensued uh, over who got what, and basically it was uh, split, you know, several different ways, but uh, everybody well, had their we'll, hand in the we'll pie We'll see which way one. this is split. A thousand crew members, what? You had 100 brass cannons, 100,000 gold coins thought to be down there. Mm. Uh, that's a lot of loot, my friend. Tom, thank you for coming in today. Have a good President's Day. I understand you wrote the book Lost and Found. Right, uh, Lost and tongue Found. Tongue-in-cheek. I was just, just kidding, Tom. Out. I just wanted to give you a plug there. Understood. Thank you very okay. much, sir, for coming in today. We'll talk again, okay? Thanks Once for they having settle me. this bad boy. Thank you. All right, you want